Hi, I'm Brian with How to Make Everything. In our latest series, we've been investigating how to preserve food without getting sick. If you've ever had food poisoning, you know how horrible it is. Approximately 48 million Americans suffer with food poisoning each year. The most common forms of food poisoning, which make the toilet your best friend for a couple of days, are E. coli, Salmonella, Campylobacter, and Listeria. While all food poisoning sucks, there's one that is considered the most deadly, botulism. Botulism is a rare and potentially fatal form of food poisoning caused by a neurotoxin produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. While the bacteria itself is not harmful, when put in the right conditions, it can release a neurotoxin which paralyzes muscles and can lead to death. They say of all the actual toxins that you can get, this, this, uh, the smallest amount of this will kill the majority of, of individuals. So, so it's, it's deadly in small amounts. The word is from Latin, botulus, meaning sausage, as it was initially discovered in the processed meat. The toxin acts by interrupting signal transmission in the somatic and autonomic motor systems without affecting sensory signals or mental functions. In basic terms, it prevents muscles from being able to function correctly. Mild cases cause drooping eyelids and facial muscles, while severe cases can actually impact your heartbeat function and breathing. Death occurs in 5 to 10% of people. While foodborne botulism is the most well known, it is actually the rarest way to get botulism today, accounting for only around 15% of cases. There are other ways to get botulism poisoning. Intravenous drug users can get it through an infection at the injection site. Babies are also susceptible since they haven't yet built up an immunity to the bacteria like adults. They can ingest those spores. Those spores can develop and produce the toxin inside them and that's what can kill them. That's why it's recommended not to give honey to babies as it commonly contains the bacteria Foodborne botulism occurs most frequently from home canned foods with low acid content. In order for canned food to be safe, it has to have at least a 4 pH level of acidity. If not, it needs to be cooked at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for longer than 5 minutes to kill any potential toxin. 29 people in Ohio were hospitalized in 2015 after eating a potato salad at a church potluck that had been made with home canned potatoes. Even though botulism affects relatively few Americans every year, the Center for Disease Control actually monitors botulism cases throughout the United States to be able to detect and respond quickly to a potential outbreak. You can find their yearly reports at the link below. During World War II, there were attempts to weaponize the botulin toxin to use against the enemy. Though these experiments never led to a useful weapon, other uses were discovered such as for medical and cosmetic benefits. Botox is a derivative of the toxin. Patients suffering from pain due to migraines, constricted nerves, and muscles have found relief from Botox injections. And the use of Botox for cosmetic use has developed into a billion dollar a year industry. Botox injections work by paralyzing the facial muscle that is injected, thereby making the skin look smoother. In rare cases, poorly administered injections can spread the toxin to unintended muscles, causing face drooping. In very rare cases, botched Botox injections can lead to botulism. If you want to learn more about botulism and how to avoid it, and even tips on how to ferment your own foods, check out the links below. Let us know what you think about this video, and if you have suggestions of other topics we should investigate, let us know in the comments below. Check out our other videos on preserving foods, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.